Date nights where you really get to know someone are when you're kind of doing some kind of an adventure together. Something that is outside of just going to dinner and having alcohol. Maybe it's a hike, maybe it's kayaking. Something where you might have a little bit of a challenge, where you see how the other person deals with adversity, where you see the other, how the other person deals with other people. When you're just at dinner or at a bar having a drink, just talking, it's great. You can have great conversation, but you really get to know someone even better when you see them interacting in an environment. You see them engaging with other people. Activities are always the best kind of date nights because you put people in situations where you can learn more about each other, whether it's playing board games or whether it's going out and painting and sipping. Don't sip too much, but sip enough so that you get to know each other a little bit and that you really have a chance to put yourselves in situations where you're able to ask each other questions about who you are, where you've been, but also activities that allow you to dream and think about where you want to go and what you want to do because that really can open you up to a person. And I will say, as relationships grow, put yourself in situations that challenge you and, and force you to see things about the other person that they might not readily show just through the conversation. Yes, opposites attract, but you have to make sure that it's the right kind of opposite. So a great example is introvert and extrovert. There might be one person in the relationship who's really outgoing, who likes being the center of attention, and another person that balances that out by being a little more introspective, a little more introvert, a little more calm when the other person's really up. That's, that's a really great balance. On the other hand, if you have opposites in terms of values, let's take religion. One person who has a lot of faith, religion is super important to them. The other person, no faith, religion is not a value. They may not even believe in a higher power. That kind of opposite can be very difficult to form a lasting relationship with. Opposites can attract in the sense of complementing one another in terms of life goals, things that they want to do. But people say opposites attracting sometimes talk about superficial things, qualities. In terms of values, generally people who have similar values are best aligned. And so, yes, you may not like the cold and the other person loves the summertime, but both of you really care about the environment or you care about your spirituality. If those core values aren't aligned, you will have a lot of difficulty because as you move forward, you may have different priorities in terms of what you want to do in your life. And so, on a superficial level, opposites can attract because it can be, it can draw you in, it can be very exciting. And I would say that's more complementary, but in terms of your core values, you want to find someone who aligns with that.